Hey, what's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a Casey Neistat intro. However, this is the effect that I'm gonna try and go for in today's video and I'm gonna spice it up a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Casey's version of this effect and then my version of this effect. So that is his effect, his kind of intro. It's really hipsterish, kind of cool and kind of just interesting. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to Final Cut Pro 10. And this is the video that I put together. It looks pretty cool. Now this video is of course from Lost Le Blanc. His video will be down in the description as always. However, this is the effect that I created in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go ahead and give a look. That right there is the effect. It's very simple, very short and easy, but it can actually be a little bit more complicated than it really is. And I'm gonna try and shorten it as possible. I don't wanna bore you guys with any of the stuff. I'm assuming you guys already know how to do the basics of Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get straight into whatever it is to create this effect. And it's very, very simple. All the links and everything in this tutorial will be down in the description for you guys to download and follow along. So what you want to go ahead and do first is I'm going to go ahead and just disable the audio check just for now. So we have the video here. Now we're going to go ahead and add some text. So we're going to go ahead and go to the text and the generators. We're going to go to the titles and we're going to go to the custom one. We're going to go ahead and go down and select the custom one. Drag that right on top of your video and go ahead and just make it so it's the same length as your video. And then from here, I wanna go ahead and change the text. I'm gonna go ahead and just rename this to uh, Bangkok, so Bangkok, like that. I'm gonna make this quite big, like 288. If you guys wanna make it bigger, click on the number and just drag that to the right and you guys can make it like that, which is pretty cool. So the font I'm gonna be using is Railway. The link will be down in the description so you guys can download it. Click on Railway and change the font. Press Command Enter or just kind of click off of the video or the text there. Select the text and drag this in the middle and it should snap. We're gonna go ahead and add a color. Now this makes the text more visually pleasing. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the text or the video itself. We're gonna go to the titles or the generators, go into the generators tab and then go down and select the custom one. Go ahead and drag that right beneath that text, delete the ends, and then from here what you wanna go ahead and do, go to the color and just choose a color. Right now it looks pretty weird, but just Go ahead and choose a color, it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm doing orange, okay? So go to the, the video tab right here. Go to where it says compositing and then there's the blend mode. Click on the normal, which is what it should be set as a default. Go ahead and change that to overlay. And this will go ahead and change your video overlay or the just the video itself and kind of make it blend along with the highlights. It's pretty much targeting the highlights. So here, we're gonna go ahead and just change the color now to make it so we can go ahead and select a color that we want now. So it's a little bit of what we want. So, so something like that would be pretty cool. So once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and add the glitch sound effect. Again, link will be down in the description. Go ahead and put that into the timeline beneath all of the layers that we have imported here. Right here, we wanna go ahead and just go and go to the video tab here go to the text itself and right click and go to show video animation go to where it says the compositing opacity and this is where we're going to go ahead and add it, our keyframes uh, maybe we want to go ahead and add a keyframe first so wherever it says the opacity right here add that first keyframe then go ahead and drag that to zero then go one two three four and then go ahead and bring that up again go one two three four and then from there, you want to go ahead and just bring that opacity back down. One, two, three. Bring that up again. And then one frame over. Just bring it down and then up again. Or just kind of play around with this to get it right. However, let's see. So go one frame down. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and just bring this down. It should add a keyframe by itself every time you move it and then go one frame over again and just bring that up again. So we should have something like this. And that's pretty good, I, I think that's pretty good. So it kind of goes up and then it goes down and then up, down, up, down, up. So it goes back to 100%. You guys can play around with these paths and make them unique and interesting. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this glitch. 
or this Casey Neistat intro, the only last thing we have to do is add the audio or the music. So I'm going to re-enable that audio and then we should finally have this really cool result right here. Alright guys, so if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, that'd be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. Be sure to leave your guys' comments down in the description for your next video or whatever you guys want me to do. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.